Hey y'all, it's time for our capsule sermon on here on Sunday night. Um, it's the Thanksgiving weekend and we just got through having our last Thanksgiving here at the house and uh, everybody's gone. I was kind of straightening up and I was like, oh man, I almost forgot. So I came in here and I had a totally different thing on my mind. I was going to go in the, in the shop out there and talk to y'all about knife making and show you, you know, how you can change one thing into another and make it something more useful and, and how that works in our life. And God does that. But then something struck me and I thought, well, we're going to do this tonight. Um, so this is Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse two. And then we're going to jump over to second Corinthians chapter five, verse 20. So, so here in Ecclesiastes, this is what it says. All things come alike to all. One event happens to the righteous and the wicked to the good, the clean, and the unclean, to him who sacrifices and him who does not sacrifice. As is the good, so is the sinner. He who takes an oath as he who fears an oath. That one thing that it says, one event that happens to everyone is death, guys. We're all going to die at some point in this life. The problem with death is, is there's no way to overcome it without Jesus Christ. So, if you're not saved, I implore you to reach out and find Christ, to look for God, to cry out to him, to, to recognize and realize that he is your savior. And if you are a saved person, I challenge you to be a voice for God and let other people know. That's where 2 Corinthians 5.20 comes in. It says, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. So guys, if you're saved, do your part. Reach out and help the those that are lost and try to lead them and guide them towards the Lord. And if you're lost, guys, I, I pray that you reconcile, that you re reach God for reconciliation, that you reach out, you cry out to him to forgive you of your sins and just accept that he is your savior. Guys, we love you. God bless you. Y'all keep praying.